Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number 22 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to use sculpture mode which is located right here by the object tab and sculpture mode. Alright I'm going to start out by deleting the default cube and adding mesh UV sphere 32 vertices by 32 is good you want more vertices for sculpture mode because sculpture mode requires that. Uh, more vertices to move around and push. Uh, sculpture mode is almost like proportional editing without being in edit mode and selected vertices. Okay, so just accept OK and uh, A to select all, scale up. I'm just going to set it to smooth and add a subsurf modifier. Level 2 object mode. And I'm going to use the sculpture mode now, right here. And now, if you notice in the edit buttons, we're going to look at uh, this, which is all trees, sculpture, and brush. Under the sculptures button, we have draw, smooth, pinch, and flat, flatten, and layer grab. All right. To start out with, we want to just talk about a grab. We're going to start out with grab, anyways. Okay. Uh, whatever you grab is what you grab, and it's going to move. You can set the size, but you cannot set the strength, as in like the other one. So go to grab, set the size to about 50. This is uh, for symmetrical editing, X, Y, and Z. You want to uh, edit your mesh across the X axis which is the red line uh, you would just hit X and that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial okay so moving on we need to note we notice that uh, there's a red line okay indicating that red axis but if you're editing here you do not want to grab this if you grab this uh, it will move it off place and we do not want that so to get rid of this hand uh, well to get rid of this arrow uh, these three arrows just hit the hand key which is right here like on this panel so hit that and it'll go away alright so now we have X for symmetrical port, uh, editing and we're on we're on the uh, grab and size 47 I'm gonna start from top I'm gonna start from top view and just grab some of this you can see how this works alright um, while you're editing just Try not to uh, cross over your vertices. Just make sure they're nice and symmetrical. Okay. You don't want them to overcross each other. And I'm just going to try to model out an ear. Yeah, this is a very fast and easy way to model objects out. All right. Just try not. Your, try your best not to uh, overlap vertices. It's very common in edit mode. All right, just keep mauling the ear out. And once you've got to where you think is pretty good, uh, just move on to the next part. And you can change settings around a little bit better in edit mode. All right, so there's a little bit of an ear. I'm going to go to side view with three. And just draw this section back. All right. Uh, I'll teach you another uh, tool real fast to so that you can smooth this out because obviously you want the back of the head to be nice and smooth not bumpy like this so to fix this I'm just going to bring this back up we need to go to the smooth and set the strength value up to about 50 so go back into or go back to where we're editing with the smooth key selected and just go over this holding the left mouse button down okay and you can smooth it out there we go that looks a little better and it smooths it to the center of the object with within the angle that you're looking at the object all right and keep smoothing it and there you have it. back of the head's a little bit smoother and I'm just going to kind of draw it in a little bit uh, it's symmetrical uh, editing so don't worry about trying to make each side symmetrical because it's already doing that. I'm going to draw this in a little bit. This, uh, sculpture mode is a nice way to add detail in without trying to push all the vertices around like in edit mode. Alright, so <clears throat> now that I've done that, I'm going to go to back side view again and select the grab key or the grab button and just draw back some eye socket area alright let's draw back the eye socket area and go back to smooth once again 
you can just smooth it out and uh, grab again bring it back just keep trying to grab it a little bit more set smooth and you create an eye socket alright you can finish modeling out the rest of the head and uh, the body whatever you want to do it's up to you it's just a nice way to uh, edit your object without having to push all the vertices around in edit mode okay so hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, hope you found it useful and try to experiment around with with this uh, tool you might find it useful thanks for watching